Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Welcome to Quite a God Worship Hour. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I trust the Lord that you're doing well. Hallelujah. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. It is well with us. It is well with us. Our God reigns. Hallelujah. 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 Bless his holy name. I'm going to encourage us with a scripture right now. I'm going to be reading from Psalm 89 verse 1. Just a scripture on worshiping and honoring God. Praise the Lord. He says, I will sing about the Lord's faithful love forever. I will proclaim your faithfulness to all generations with my mouth. That's what we're here for. And I'm glad that you're here joining in with me. I want to encourage you. Go ahead and just connect with me in the spirit. Um, even if you don't know the lyrics, that's okay. Just lift up holy hands. Praise the Lord. Honor him in your own words. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's just enjoy his presence. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are great. Yes, you are. Holy one. You walked upon the sea. You raised the dead. You reign in majesty. Mighty God. Everything written about you is great. You are great, yes, you are. Holy One, you walked upon the sea and you raised the dead. You reign in majesty, mighty God. Everything written about you is great. You are great. You are great. You are great. Oh, you are great. You are great. You are great. Everything written about you is great. You are great. You are great. You are great. You are great. Oh, you are great. You are great. You are great. You are great. Everything written about you is great mighty mighty god we worship you today we give you all the praise as we lift our hands to you with pleasures in our heart we raise our voice to say everything written about you is great mighty mighty god we worship you today we give you all the praise as we lift our hands to you with pleasures in our heart we raise our voice to say everything written about you is great hallelujah demons tremble at your presence what a mighty god we serve what a mighty god we serve glory glory hallelujah glory glory hallelujah everything written about you is great you are great, you are great, you are great, you are great, oh, you are great, you are great, you are great, you are great, everything written about you is great. Yes, so it is with our Lord and our God. He's a great, 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 amazing Father, amazing God. We love him. We worship him today. We give him all the praise. Hallelujah. With all of our being, we give him all the praise. We glorify his wonderful name. We honor him. We reverence him. We thank him for another day. We thank him. We thank him. We bless his holy name. You are awesome in our lives. We love you so much, Jesus. We give you all the praise. Hallelujah. Bless his holy name. Hallelujah. 
We lift your name higher. We lift your name. 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 Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah, shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah. We'll lift your name higher, we'll lift your name, we'll lift your name. We lift your name. Shout hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Amen. For you alone deserve all glory. For you alone deserve all praise. Father, I worship and adore you. Father, I long to see your face. For you alone deserve all glory. For you alone deserve all praise. Father, I love you and I worship you this day. For you alone deserve all glory. For you alone deserve all praise. Father, I worship and adore you. Father, I long to see your face. For you alone deserve all glory. For you alone deserve all praise. Father, I love you and I worship you this day. Father, we love you, we worship you, we honor you, we praise you, we adore you, we glorify you, we exalt you, we magnify you. We're just here to say we thank you for a new day. Thank you for your love, your provision, your mercy, your grace, your compassion, your hedge of protection. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for this life that we have in him. Thank you that our lives are hidden in him. Thank you for your hedge of protection. Thank you for your angels all around us. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for the precious, precious presence of your Holy Spirit. We love you, Jesus. We honor you this day. We glorify you. We adore you. We magnify you. We exalt you above our circumstances. We exalt you above the thoughts that we hear that are not lined up with your will. We exalt you above how we feel. We exalt you above what's going on around us. We exalt you alone, our God. There is no God like you in all the earth. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you above our problems. We praise you above our concerns, above our needs. We exalt you. You are God. You are God all by yourself. You are God. You are in control. You got us. You love us. You care for us. Your thoughts for us are good thoughts. We worship you this day. We bless your holy name. Thank you for your love, Jesus. We honor you so much. We reverence you. We honor you with all of our being. There is no God like you. We exalt you. Be magnified in our lives. In your precious holy name, we worship. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I'm just going to sing the song while I'm, I'm going to open a scripture here in Psalm 46. But I want us to just sing the song and just enjoy it while I open the scripture. Praise the Lord. There is joy, joy, joy in the presence of the Lord. Singing hallelujah. Amen. There is joy, joy, joy in the presence of the Lord. Singing hallelujah, amen. Cause I will sing and celebrate, I'll sing and celebrate. Sing with joy unto the Lord. I will sing and celebrate, sing and celebrate. Sing with joy unto the Lord. There is joy, joy, joy in the presence of the Lord, singing hallelujah, amen, amen. There is joy, joy, joy in the presence of the Lord, singing hallelujah, amen. 
Cause I will dance and celebrate, I'll dance and celebrate, dance with joy unto the Lord. I will dance and celebrate, I'll dance and celebrate, dance with joy unto the Lord. Amen. In his presence is fullness of joy. At his right hand, there are pleasures evermore. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I'm here on Psalm, Psalm 46. I'm going to read verse 1 because we're fixing to pray. We're about to pray. And I want you to know that God is with you. God is with you. He's with me. He's for us. He loves us. He cares for us. He continues to tell us. He tells us over and over in his word about com coming to him when we're in distress, when we're afraid, when we're worried. He doesn't want us to be anxious. He doesn't want us to be discouraged. He doesn't want us to be fearful. Praise the Lord. God loves us. He's a merciful and gracious father. That's why sometimes we sin, sin, sin. We, we're disobedient, but we continue to see God's grace and mercy. We see things still work out for us. You know, sometimes we even acknowledge, man, God, you know, I didn't think I deserved that. But it's love that qualifies us. Hallelujah. But we don't want to take that love for granted, right? Praise the Lord. But we thank God for his mercy. He's very, very merciful, very gracious. Hallelujah. I'm reading Psalm 46. I'm going to read verse 1. It says, God is our refuge and strength, a helper who is always found in times of trouble. I just want to encourage you with that scripture today. He's our refuge, meaning this is the one we run to when we're in distress, right? He's our strength. He gives us strength when we feel weak. Sometimes I know because we're humans, right? Sometimes you just feel weak. Maybe there's so many things going on or the enemy is just trying to beat us down or something has not worked out. You might feel weak. He says he gives us strength. He, why? Because he comforts us in our being. He speaks to you. He whispers to you. He sends someone to say something. You you get encouraged by the scripture. His Holy Spirit comes over you and gives you strength and helps you to just pull through things you never imagined you would pull through. Hallelujah. A helper who is always found in times of trouble. So he doesn't bail out on us when we're in trouble, like unlike how humans behave, right? God is there. We need to cry out to him. That's what we're going to do today. We're here to call out to him, cry out to him and say, Father, help us. Reach out to him. We're going to stretch our hearts and our hands to him and say, God, help us in our distress, in our dilemma. This thing that's been bothering us. We have no one else to turn to but you. Our eyes on you. Hallelujah. If you're ready, I'm, I'll be happy for us to just connect and bring these problems before our Father. The one who can resolve any and anything. He's a big, big God. Think about it. He's the creator of the universe. Everything that we've admired on this planet, it's the wisdom of God. It's the grace of God. Men may want to take glory, but if not for God's God's, everything is God's. Even the things we use to create all these fancy things, they're all God's. And he gives the wisdom and he gives the grace. He gives the life. He gives the wisdom. He gives the strategy. He gives the ideas. It is everything. So if he can do all of those things, what can't he do in our lives? If God says he loves us, that's what it is. We should never let circumstance and our feelings dictate to us otherwise and tell us how, how to think about this and how to view God. Praise the Lord. If you're ready, I'll be happy for us to pray together. Dear Jesus, I thank you for my brother and sister. Thank you for your love for him and her. And for myself, you love us all. You are gracious, you are merciful. Thank you for putting this time together for us. We bless your holy name. Dear Jesus, we, we believe in your love for us. And so that's why we come boldly into your presence. We're here to just surrender and submit our needs, our concerns, our problems, our burdens. We lay them at your feet. We trust in you. Our eyes are fixed on you. We exalt you above all of these things, oh God. We say be glorified in our lives. Father, my brother and sister, if they are afflicted in their bodies, I just pray for your mercy. I pray for your touch. I pray that you heal them. We're asking this in the name of Jesus. Sickness is not your will for us, so we're not going to receive it. We, Father, we dissociate from that sickness right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank, we thank you for what you did on the cross. The word says you bore our sickness and our sin, and you've given us your life. And so, Father, that's where we're at to God in our hearts, in our thinking. We thank you for taking our place. We receive life. We receive health. I speak life for them, health and strength in their bodies. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, raise them from that sick bed, oh God. Show your mercy. Pour out your love. Pour out your love, oh God. In Jesus' name, 
not in the area of their finance. Remember them. Turn that situation around. Bring that by a breakthrough. Bless them. Bring that by a reversal of everything that is not lined up with your will. Let every curse be broken. I speak life to their situation, life to their circumstance. Bless them with resources. Bless them with a good job. Father, bless them. Bless their business. Bless whatever it is they set their hands to do that is according to your will. Bless it, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Open the windows of heaven. Be merciful to them. Bless them, oh God. Bless them to be a blessing in Jesus' name. Lord, if it's in their, in their marriage, oh God, I pray for your intervention. You are the only one who can resolve complex issues. Father, you are the only one who can turn people's hearts. The, the, the word says the heart of the king is in your hands. Lord, I pray that you will turn the heart of the father, of the, the, the husband, the wife towards you, oh God. Turn their hearts towards you and towards one another, oh God. Ground them in your love, oh God. Stir up love between each other, between, let, between themselves, oh God. Let love prevail, oh God, in Jesus' name. In, the, in Jesus' name. Let the fear of you reign in that family. In the name of Jesus, let there be oneness of spirit. Oneness, let there be unity that is grounded in your word, in your wisdom, oh God, not in the ways of the world. In Jesus' name, turn every situation around. Heal every hurt. Heal every pain. Give the grace to forgive, oh God. Heal where, it's, where people are hurting, oh God. In Jesus' name, if any child is astray in any way, Lord, I call that child out of darkness into your marvelous light. Lord, heal that child, perfect that child where they're hurting. I, I speak that that child be liberated from the pangs of Satan right now in Jesus' name. Let every curse in that child's life be broken. I call them out of darkness into your marvelous light. Lord, I speak upon that child's soundness of mind in Jesus' name. Give them grace. Speak healing in their minds, healing in their bodies in the name of Jesus. If that child is going through any a struggle in the academics or in anything that they are, anything that glorifies you, Lord, Lord, I pray, pray for a blessing. I pray that you turn it around. Perfect that situation in that child's life. In Jesus' name. Lord, I just pray anyone believing for a baby, bless them. Hear their cry. In Jesus' name. Anyone believing for a sp spouse, I stand in agreement with them. Hear their cry, O oh God. In Jesus' name. Bring them the right one. Make them the right one. In Jesus' name. Lord, whatever other situation is there, Lord, turn around. Level mountains. Bring about a breakthrough. Open doors. Bless them, O oh God. Grant them favor. Father, if somebody's in debt, make a way of escape for them. Make a way. Bless them, O oh God, so they can take care of their problems. Father, grant them grace. Grant them grace. Resolve the issues for them. In the name of Jesus, if somebody um, has someone owing them, Lord, resolve that issue for them. In Jesus' name, in court cases, make a way. Bring about resolution. Bring about justice. Lord, in diverse cases, complex cases, oh God, make a way. God of the breakthrough. Make a way, level mountains, cause rivers to flow in desert situations. God of impossibilities, show your power, oh God. Cause them to experience your love in Jesus' name. I thank you that you hear us in Jesus' name. Brother and sister, if you're here and you say, you know, I'm not sure about my walk with the Lord. I've been, you feel like you've been staggering. You feel like you're not doing well. You feel like the Lord has been tugging at your heart for a deeper walk. I'll be happy to pray with you at this time. Praise the Lord. Or if you don't even know Christ, you say, I want to know Jesus Christ. I've been hearing about him. I want to know him personally. I'll be happy to pray with you at this time. Okay, you just need to come with a surrendered heart, a humble, broken heart, full surrender, full surrendered, you know, ready to just give God your all. And so just repeat a very simple prayer after me, meaning all of your heart. Dear Jesus, forgive me for all my sins. Forgive me for going my own way. I repent of God completely. I surrender to your Lordship. I'm sorry that I've been in sin. I'm, so, I'm sorry that I've been rebellious to your voice. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. Thank you for your blood that was shed for me. Thank you for taking away my sin. Thank you for this new life I have in you. You are my Lord and my personal Savior. I will serve no other God but you. You alone are God in my life. I surrender completely to you. I love you, Jesus. I belong to you. I belong to you. I denounce the kingdom of darkness. Thank you for bringing me close to you making me one with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Lord, I pray for the infilling of your Holy Spirit. Flush out in them everything that is not of you. Let every curse in their life be broken. Fill them with your precious Holy Spirit, Lord, to be that guide. In Jesus' name, amen. It is well with you. Congratulations. All of heaven celebrates at this decision you just made. God bless you. The Lord will strengthen you and keep you, cause you to grow stronger and stronger in him. You will move from one level of glory to the next. Spend time in God's word. Read the New Testament. 
Be well grounded in the word of God. That's let make it your best friend. To stay away from ungodly, an ungodly lifestyle. Resist the devil. The Bible says resist him will flee. Hallelujah. Be absolute in your and resolute in your relationship in wanting to serve God. Right? Even if and but even if you make mistakes, come back to Jesus, okay? His arms are forever open. And his Holy Spirit will help you to stand strong in him. It is well with you. I continue to pray for you. You are able to stand. The Lord will keep you. It is well with you. You are very, very precious to God. God loves you so much. I love you too. And I'll continue to pray for you. I look forward to connecting with you tomorrow on Cody God Worship Hour. God bless you. Bye-bye.